so it's been a while um what did we do i can't really remember now it was after the ultra um i think i did another one after that and then i don't think i've really done anything since um as far as videos go i have been running a lot um but i was running a lot up the cumbria way so i wasn't videoing that because you have seen it a million times um also i've had covid so uh I've had two weeks off for that um, and also we just had a couple of weekends away which meant life got in the way so uh, yeah it's been a bit busy um, but I've been still running lots however this is my first I would say long run back after Covid um, although it's not going to be an incredibly long run it's only about five miles but it's more technical than what I've been doing since I've done a few runs and um, just ran local so uh, we're starting in Tarn House today um, which is good because it's National Trust, so that means I can use my card for parking. Um, we go around the tarn and then we'll head off up um, past the top of it and do a bit more of a loop because the tarn itself, if you just go around the tarn, I think it's just over two miles. So this just extends it. It's a run that I've taken from one of my books that I've got. And I think it takes you up and over Black Crag and then down and then you come back down the other side of the tarn. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Um, I had considered doing an extra loop around the tarn as well if I feel good once I've finished. But I'm I'm thinking that's probably not likely. <laughs> um, it's cold and uh, wet and stuff like that. So uh, I am looking forward to going out and exploring somewhere new. Uh, so I thought we'd take you along so you can see. Um, like you say, it's a bit chilly. So I've got my jacket on. I may take it off once we get going if I heat up because it is just sort of drizzly rather than chucking it down um, but we'll see um, yeah I've got a couple of snacks with me and then I've got some snacks and drinks and a hot nice flask of tea for when I get back to the car for later so yeah it's only five miles so let's go and explore somewhere new see you in a bit it's one of those days where I'm not sure how long the jacket will last but I guarantee the minute I take it off I'll get cold but having it on I'm warm so you know they're right we'll put up with it for a minute and see but we're at the town now we're going round and then we turn off it towards Black Crag um, I love coming around town house it's really nice Um, belted ones, I believe they're yew tree farm cows um, because they've said that their cows come up here. <laughs> the new shoes didn't see it clean for very long. We're going through the mud. Uh, same shoes as I normally have, Teal Fly Ultra 300s, but I got a new pair because they were on sale in August Bank Holiday for 40% off. So I took absolute advantage of that. And um, yeah, made my voyage, may as well get them a bit muddy. Let's see how many we can get them. <laughs> Just tried a new fuel. Um, I ordered some of these from x -Mails. got this flavour which is maple syrup, sea salt and almond and then I got another flavour which I can't remember what it is but it's in my pack I um, wanted to try some a bit different, a bit more natural because it's all natural stuff um, I like it I have a couple of issues with it but I, li I do like it it's, well, issue one is before you, or if you try one, before you open it, try and squish it around in the pack a bit because it, like what peanut butter does sometimes in the jar, it sort of separates a bit and you only have to mix it up because it gets a bit watery at the top and thick at the bottom. That's what this did. So when I first opened it, it was all like liquidy at the top and really thick at the bottom. Um, so it needed a bit of squishing around. So the first mouthful was a bit, well I wasn't sure, but actually 
after that. Um, it was alright, but it tasted really nice. The second problem I had is because it was all like thick and that at the bottom, um, and I don't know if this would be solved by squishing it around before you open it or if it would just do this anyway, is I've finished it as in I've got out as much as I can right now, but I still feel like there's quite a lot in there because it's sort of stuck further down and it's really hard to get out. You'd have to like open up the packet because you can't get your teeth all the way down it to scrape it out. Yeah. It's nice though because it's not overly sweet like a lot of the fuel and stuff is so it's a nice change from that and i do like it but i'm concerned that i haven't gotten everything out so if i was like oh this has got x amount of calories in or carbs or whatever um then i wouldn't be getting all of that but i'm like oh i've had a packet of that so it's that much but you don't actually get it all so yeah, I'll have to look because I'm sure they had some different pouches, which these were like more like trail sashes. And they had some bigger pouches that had like a proper opening at the top, like a little thing. I'll have to see if they're any better. But they were nice, so I'll definitely have them again. Like I say, it makes a change to sweets and stuff. I have to say, I'm really enjoying this chill so far. I mean, we're only about two miles in, but um, it's really nice because I love Tartan House anyway. But it can get quite touristy, it gets quite popular, quite busy because it's quite a short but beautiful, fairly flat, um, not completely flat but fairly flat route. So it's quite accessible and a lot of people go, it's a national trust, so the car park was full there, even on a day like today where it's not so great, car park's still full. Um, but this is the first time I've actually come off the main route of town house. And as you can see, it's a well-worn trail, as in it's obviously used a lot. I've passed another trail runner with their dog and someone mountain biking, mental case. But it doesn't feel, it's obviously not proper touristy. It's not really busy. Um, probably more used by locals, I would have thought. Or people that, you know, have planned their route really well and have a map and all the rest of it. Um, you know, so probably not just going to stumble down here on a on a bimble. Um, but yeah, it's very technical. Um, so I could go a bit faster right now on this bit, but because I've got the camera up, I won't because I'll end up flat on my face. Um, but we've had some open areas. We're currently in a wooded area. Um, yeah, it's really nice here. So I would definitely do. Uh, hang on, let me wait and say that at the end. But so far, I would do this route again. Um, we'll see what the climb up Black Crag is like and how I feel after that. Right, we're starting the ascent up Black Crag now. I'm pretty sure this is not a particularly hard climb. And it's definitely one of the smallest um, win rates. Uh, but... This bit's going to be incredibly slow today because <coughs> since COVID, um, running in general has been harder. I'm starting to get back into a floor, but it is harder. And uphill at anything is harder too. So even in the house, we have three floors or two, well, two floors, depending on whether you class the bottom as ground or first floor, American or English, whatever. Um, Anyway, it's a long way up to the top floor. <laughs> and when I first moved in, I said, like, oh my God, this is hard. However, I had got to the point where I'd been sort of just, yeah, flying up and down the stairs. Now we're back to when I first moved in. And it's difficult to get up them again when the time, by the time you get to the top. Just a little bit out of breath. Doesn't mean I can't do this just means I take it slowly so uh, no running up it just a nice gentle hike up like I say it's a fairly easy one relatively speaking so uh, just take my time and enjoy the flipping fantastic scenery I'm not even a quarter of the way up there it's already fantastic so I'm looking forward to the view at the top and then we get to come down 
and you go down the other side of the townhouse. I think we're about halfway now, so yeah. It's been very enjoyable so far. See you in a bit. Just while I take a breather, we've got Coniston over here and Windermere over here. It's a little bit great today, but it's so lovely and calm. Everything's really green and it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love being able to drive for 20 minutes or whatever, even up to an hour and be somewhere like this really easily, very accessibly. Still pinching myself that we live here. It's fantastic, love it. Summit we were just at. Now we're headed this way. You can just see Tarn House down there. That's where we're headed. Back to. It's been a lovely route so far, and there's not that much more of it to go. So, barn is a bit drastic. I've really enjoyed this. I will do it again, and I'll also bring Tom back for a hike for sure, because we still need to take off Black Crag off our list. So we haven't officially done it till we've both done it together. So, uh, yeah. Although a fun thing that I have just realised, which I hadn't even crossed my mind when I got this route out of the book. Um, I just picked it because it was fairly close, easy to park because I've got the National Trust and I sort of know a heart of it, known town house, and it's not a difficult route. But that's the first way right I've done on my own. So uh, I feel quite um, accomplished. It's only a small one, but first solo win race. Yeah, just for that. Let's go. I think I love paths like this. It always makes me feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings or something. Just grass with little rocks sticking up. Right, the up's done now. I'm pretty much heading downhill most from now. So I'm gonna try and pick up some speed. See you in a bit. I did have a bit of a chuckle when I got to the top of Black Crag. There was a few people up there and um, one of them was a group of four with two younger people and two older people and uh, I heard the old gentleman say something about like am I not cold um, oh, I'm just going to have to go for it yeah sorry about that I didn't have a yet people and puddles and things. Wet feet now, never mind, don't matter. Um, yeah, as you can see, I ditched the jacket very early on. I got hot, as I knew I would. I got shorts on. So I was running unless it's seriously cold. Um, yeah, the guy was like, oh, isn't she cold? And I heard the lady say, oh, I expect once you get going, you probably heat up, don't you? And he went, well, I can assure you, I would never get up to that sort of speed where I would get that hot. <laughs> he's buttoned up in his jacket and hat and everything. I thought it was just a bit amusing. Um, especially as I don't actually go that quick, but I do heat up very quickly. So, uh, yeah, that was funny. Oh, that's me done now. I'm just heading back to the car park. Um, that was definitely harder than it would have been a couple of weeks ago before COVID. But, even with that, I've had a fantastic day, lovely route, um, I'd definitely do that again, um, yeah, and really, really, really pleased to be back out on the trails for sure, so, yeah, uh, enjoyed that, and um, I'll stick a little picture of the route up 
after this so you can see it and picture of the book that I got it from which is quite a good book with some good roots in if anyone's interested and um, have a go yourself see you next time